Today we will be checking FlexClip, which is a platform that offers a variety of AI tools that span images, that span audio and also video, as well as tools for video editing, video recording and so many other things. Of course, I cannot cover everything in a single video, but I will try to use the most useful functionalities that I can find and showcase them to you. I want to be completely transparent with you. This video is not sponsored. However, the guys over at FlexClip gave us a 25% discount code, which you will find down below in the description. I think it's time to get started and start seeing all of the useful applications and AI tools available in the platform. But before we do so, I just want to inform you about the pricing. There are three tiers in this platform. The first one is the free one that allows specific uh, resolution for downloads of videos and you have specific limits up to 12 projects and videos up to 10 minutes. There is also this paid option that is the most popular for $20 per month and then the business for $30 per month. And of course, if you've got bigger teams, you can get custom plans. And if you scroll down, you can find more details about the exact criteria and limits. So there are just so many things that you can do with this platform. Really, they got so many options, infinite options of AI tools, everything you can imagine, they probably got it in here. So I'm going to get started by joining and signing in into my account. I go to AI tools and we got the popular ones and the image based video and audio based. So I'm going to get started and I want to do AI text to image. So that's the first feature I want to check, which is the uh, image generation capabilities of FlexClip. Okay, so here we can see specific generations. I'm going to go ahead and get a prompt from Ideogram, which in my opinion, as I've told you in the past, in my opinion, Ideogram is the number one, the best image generator out there. This is again, personal preference. So let's check out how it compares to Ideogram. So I'm going to get this image, get the magic prompt, paste it here. You can also add AI prompts here to improve like the final prompt style. You can also select the style. I don't know what kind of style I want to add. So I'm going to skip it. I'm going to use the pro model. The more, uh, the more costly option you get here, the more credits you eat up. I'm going to go with 16.9 as resolution ultra mode, and I'm going to generate four images. Let's click the generate button and let's see the final result and how it compares against the state of the art. Now, one of the most important things to understand is that for Ridogram, you're going to pay the same price but only for images. While here you get a variety of tools. So I don't expect FlexClip to have like the best image generator or the best this or that. They have an aggressive pricing that allows you to do loads of generation across all of these amazing tools. So I expect them to have very, very good performance on most of these, but not being the perfect performance in all of them. And that's totally fine. But as we can see here, this doesn't look half but this looks super good. I gotta say, this doesn't look bad at all. The first image looks very, very good, very realistic. I'm already super excited to see the result. And of course, guys, if you want to create an account, click the link down below. The link down below is an affiliate link, so I can track how many people get in. And this is helpful mainly to me. They didn't request any affiliates. I did it because through this way, if you find this tool useful and it solves one of your problems, I can get a little bit of commission uh, so I can kick up this channel and these uploads and hopefully my goal i want to be completely transparent is to make this full time showcase tools show you solutions show you things and hopefully uh, we can do that in the future and turn this into a full-time job it's not about making money it's about making enough so i can live off through that and provide more value to you again i'm trying to do everything for free and here you can see download button and make video now so if i click make video now from this image, what can happen? Maybe we have to wait for the other generations to happen. Again, this one is good. This one is good. Okay. So we got two out of two very good generations. If we compare with Ideogram 3, I would say Ideogram 3 is a little bit more realistic, but has a little bit of hallucination. This is more like image, like taking an image live because we did not specify it 
in the prompt, but it looks good. It looks realistic. I like it. I also like the different perspective. Like here, you've got an island on the background. Here, the, the island is integrating the background with blur. This is good. This is, the results are very, very good. I like them. So if I want to make a video now, if I click this button, what will happen? Okay, so there is some kind of error. Okay, so I will have to download like a Chrome uh, extension. I don't want to do that right now. So, you know, I like these images. I'm going to use this one, download it. Boom, download it instantly. And then I want to go to AI background remover. This is one of the things that I want to do so much with the images because having to do that into Photoshop is so time consuming and you never really do it 100% correct. So having an image uh, remover using AI is just such a good tool to go. And also they've got object remover, AI uh, restoration of images. This is super useful, I gotta say. Image upscaling. Okay, so let me show you what we will do. We'll go through a process where we edit those images and do what a thumbnail designer would do. And we will do it for images. Then we go into video and, you know, do video editing a little bit. And then we're going to generate some music, do some AI text to speech, translate audio. I think that's also going to be amazing. So yeah, super excited to see. Okay, so quickly remove background with AI. So let's select an image. I'm going to select the image that we downloaded just before. Okay, so it's, it gets uploaded and this only costs one credit per image. So that's good, okay. So boom, the background was indeed removed and I don't know what else can we do. We can do erase. So we can erase more things by uh, uh, selecting them here. So whatever you deselect will get erased. So this is a little bit like, I don't know, Photoshop, I would say. Again, this is a difficult image to remove the background because it's going to be the water, but you don't know if you want to remove the raft or not. Okay, so if you refine this, like that, like I did right now and hit apply, boom. You get a little bit of a more fine grained person, boom. Okay, that looks nice, that looks nice. And you can add another background, so, okay, whatever. Or you can generate a photo using AI. Oh, all right, all right, that looks, that looks nice. So you use an AI photo. So let's say that you want this background and generate now, it does text, to image. Okay, let's keep that. Let's let's not mess around right now with these things. Uh, you can also add stroke to the character and specify the width of the stroke. Okay. Okay, this is very useful in general. So let's say that I download this image. Okay. I want to go ahead and do some image upscaling. I want to improve the quality of this generated image. I'm going to upload this uh, cropped out image. I'm going to go for 4x upscaling. Let's see the result. Super exciting stuff. Uh, literally, I find this tool so, so useful because it's a place that is easy to use, workable, fast, and you know, you do exactly what you want and it's a single hub hosting all of these tools. I find it very useful. And the quality is very good. The result is absolutely amazing. They probably use state-of-the-art tools at the end of the day for all of these generations and things. One other thing that I want to test out is if I press to add more credits, how much will it cost me to add like two credits? That's like a question I've got. Okay, so this will take a little bit of time. Maybe we can try the AI face swap or image extender. Maybe that would be useful or AI change clothing. Well, that is going to be super useful. Changing clothes with AI seems amazing. Let's see. Okay, so 300 credits equate to around $10. But if you buy more credits, you get discounts. Okay, that looks cool. So literally uh, doing this thing with uh, upscaling is so, so cheap. Okay, so let's see the upscaling. This is the previous and the next. Yes, indeed, indeed, I can see some improvements into the crispiness of the person hands like it adds more realistic things yeah looks a lot better looks a lot better okay so let's move on let's move on to easily change clothes so we go to upload a photo and i want to select men's suit so this is going to be an absolutely super difficult prompt in my opinion this is not going to be an easy prompt to do i would be so 
so uh, not excited really, but I would be blown out of my mind if they can fit this suit to the Alcatraz person trying to escape. I find this to be super, uh, you know, super hard to do for AI. I really don't believe it can happen. But what I try to do today is push the limits of this tool, find exactly the limits, the possibilities for it. And up till now, it's very, very exciting, especially on images. What we have seen till now, it's state of the art. But because I know the technology behind this cloth swapping, I know it's not up to the task till now. These are usually small models, not trained that much, but they will happen. Like, I mean, Zara and all of these companies will push out more of these AI tools for sure. Now for free, I'm not really sure. But what I want to do is also replace my face um, on the person's uh, image. So I upload my face, I upload the original image, and I want to replace my face into this image. So let's generate that as well. So we've got two generations going on here at the same time. One to swap clothes and two up to swap face. Okay, so that indeed looks okay. It indeed was able to add this suit to the person. Again, it's not a hundred percent. You can see some hallucination in the hands, but this is literally the limits of AI technology. This is insane and you can compare. Okay, so you can see here that indeed it changed these things, but because the suits are not trained with hands, it cannot capture that. But this is so unexpected the way it worked. I did not expect this to be so good. This is insane, my friends. This is absolutely insane. If you put like a correct image here, uh, this would be a lot better. I'm quite sure about that. So let me, let me try and add my face and try to add like this black shirt to me. I want to click generate, just test it out. But I'm mind blown. I might, I'm, I'm very blown out by all of these value propositions and capabilities. These look amazing. So what else can we try for video? What options do we got? So we got this AI background remover. We got this AI video script. That, well, that's useful. AI video creator image to 3D animation. That could be amazing. You could literally generate small videos. Oh, and this is me. Okay, so indeed, it could actually place my face in here. Maybe with a different image, it could do a little bit of a better job, but you know, I totally get it. Yeah, I'm that guy. So if I try to replace my face with this person and maybe maybe add a different face of mine. Do I have a different face of mine? That's the first question. Um, let's try that. Let's try another image swap face swap and boom this is me okay oh it indeed adds the shirt did very good job okay this is super accepted like this is super super accepted and if you've got the correct images and you input like an image with no background here and the person correctly standing you can literally do amazing search swapping so this tool also works super nicely this is so unexpected and this is the tool of 3D photo animation. Oh my God, this looks insane. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to upload an image, uh, the image of this guy. Well, can I? Maybe. And it will be able to generate this kind of 3D images. This, this looks sick. This looks sick. Like, no, in all honesty, this looks amazing. Oh my God, this tool is insane. AI text-to-speech. There are so many options, guys. I, I literally cannot test everything in a single video. Okay, so it's processing this image. This image is going to be amazing if it can do it like that. Whoa. Even the examples are so, so good. So beautiful. Boom, and that's me. Okay, so it replaces my face in here. That looks good. That looks good, I gotta say. That looks nice. It, you know, it's it's these tools work so well and you just have to place the correct like um, photo here because my photo is so zoomed out that it has to capture my face. It has to do so many things, but it works so nicely. Oh, let me add my face into this boxer. Whoa, that looks nice. That looks nice. You can add intensity. Whoa, and duration without returning. Whoa, this is insane. 
Whoa, and you can add different options, perspective, for example. And you want zoom, you can add edits here. Whoa, <laughs> this is insane. This is insane, guys. This is amazing. Okay, super happy with it again. But literally, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I can't believe how great things they're able to do. This is literally so unexpected, so unexpected. There's also this text to video generator that for some reason I cannot find here. I don't know which one it is. I don't think you can find it in these tools, but I'm going to do a generation of five seconds and a fast paced race car running in a wet truck. Boom. So this is text to video generation for five seconds. This costs quite a lot. You can go with 10 seconds, but I'm going to go with five seconds. Boom. And the face swap is in. Okay. That looks, that looks quite good. I gotta say, okay. Okay. Good. We also seen this tool. Looks nice. Video generation will take around five to 10 minutes. So let's move on into something else. Okay. So what I want to do is generate some music and some text to speech. I think these two are some of the most important. I know that audio noise remover is going to be insane and vocal remover, I think also is going to be great. Okay, so this is innovative AI music samples and this is instrumental. So this is the reference music. We can try a sample, which is... Okay, so this is pop music. So let's use that. So I guess you can voice clone so many different, um, you know, songs and people singing which I find quite amazing. And you also don't get copyrighted for these kind of uh, audio generations. This is insane. Such a useful tool. FlexClip is really a very useful tool in all honesty. Like it gives you so many options that it's so unexpected that you can do all of these things in a single tool. This is a very good value proposition because one day you may need specific generations and you've got all of the credits in the single platform. So you use them as you would like you don't have to you know move there move there you you literally have everything in a single video in a single platform and there is this meme generator that they got okay youtube thumbnail maker hmm. they got so many other tools that are not specifically ai so let's let's hear the audio okay that looks okay okay so you can create a thumbnail in their platform they've got all of these other tools that are not actually ai tools but you can use them if you want to. So this is like Canvas. Interesting. Well, this is very useful for me as well because they've got all of these amazing options inside their platform, which is insane. Highly didn't really expect it to have so many things. Like they got so many utilities from AI to non-AI tools. They really have done an amazing job. They've done an amazing job. Blogs about learning how to use their tools. Literally, this is a... This is a very good company, a very in-depth, very good company. I'm still waiting for this text to image video so I can show you the result. I think it will be very, very nice. And for some of the functionalities, you have to download uh, like a plugin or download like a different browser than mine. So I don't want to do that right now. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. If you want to use the full functionalities of FlexClip, you might want to be running on uh, Google Chrome. Okay. So we got the image gener. Okay. So the video is finally generated and we can check it out. So a fast paced race car running in a wet truck and this is it. Okay. Looks good. Not perfect, but it looks very, very good. Maybe we could have added more uh, specifications for the prompt, but that looks nice. I really like the animation and the zoom. So cool. The AI video generator also works. If you want to learn more about AI, you can navigate into the course links down below. We got a variety of free AI courses that you can join in specifically on Udemy. So you can find the links down below. This is how they look like. And we also got a list of free AI tools that you can use. Coding tools, you can see them here. Deep research tools, image generators, and so many other things like automations, text generators. Everything we cover in this channel is on the link down below in the AI tool list. Thanks so much for watching. FlexClip is really a very nice platform.